Now I'm joined here by Longford Town centre back Connor Kenneth. Connor, two sending offs, an 88 minute penalty. You must be disappointed with how that match finished. Yeah, it was uh, tough to take at the end, obviously, but um, as the game went on, we thought we had enough to win the game. Obviously, we down and lose it, but more disappointing was obviously losing two lads coming into the games, going up the playoffs and stuff as well, so hopefully it's not too bad. The first half, I thought Longford probably deserved to go in 1 0 at half time, you know. Dean Bourne latching on to that pass back in the 10th minute and getting the goal and then you know we were holding strong and Carl Chambers kind of maybe very harshly sent off considering other fouls that were going on in the game you know other players maybe three or four fouls consecutively you know Carl Sean and then Carl has given two fouls two, two cards and he's off Yeah to be fair you'd like to um, say a few things and about the game and that but listen, I don't, we don't need any more suspension so um, better off saying nothing about the game and some performances but so we dug in, we played very good as a team, obviously a man down, we uh, looked at the team that's going to want to win the game, so that's a good sign going into the playoffs as well, so um, we'll regroup, there's lads there that will come into the squad and do a job, so, so it's happy enough even though we lost, it's uh, more disappointing part was losing the players, but we'll dig in and go again. Like you said, you know, we still have the playoffs to look forward to, you know, we're, we're away to Cove next week, which, you know, it's a tough game down there, but you know, players might be a little more relaxed knowing that the playoff is guaranteed, you know, we're going to be missing a few, but then, a and Sam could be back next week as well. But just the last few minutes, you were in the middle of it, I suppose. What exactly happened? Was Shane put, was deemed to have fouled in the box? You know, a lot of the town support thought it was very harsh. Yeah, I'm not going to comment on it, to be honest. As I said, <laughs> I'm not going off. And, um, listen, we lost the game. I said, that's fair enough. Disappointing part was obviously sending off. So, listen, we've got a group of lads there that want to come in. They're hungry to play as well. They've been waiting for a chance all year. So, we've got a chance next week to put the place forward for the playoffs. So, I said, we'll look for the group and go again. With the suspensions, you know, it's not a, it's a big deal, but it's not at the same time. You know, you have young John Manley that can come in and slot in beside you. You know, he's done very well since he came into yeah, the squad. John's been brilliant. He's just been unlucky this year. And he's going to be a great player going forward as well. So, as I said, these looks at him to come in. There's other lads as well that are chomping on the bit. The two lads that were suspended to come back. So, so that was a positive, as I said, we were a better team out there in the second half, so going forward, we're still playing well. We look to beat Coles now on the weekend and win the playoffs in the high. You know, the playoffs are going to be tough for us. It could be Cabin TD for us, it could be Drotted for us. To, you know, it's going to be tough for Longford, but how do you fancy yourselves going into it? You know, Cabo are kind of our kryptonite this season, whereas Drotted will be beating them three times this year. Yeah, once you get to the playoffs, it doesn't matter. It's a zone night, it's obviously the two games, but it's crazy games to be playing in, so listen, anything can happen in them games. Fawn goes out the window. John Martin has come in and, and is helping Dara with the team. How has he come in and, and kind of you know taken to the team and, and how's he doing as a manager so well? Johnny's been great, he's a great fresh air when he's come in. As I said, um, he's walked around the league a lot, he's played in the league, he knows the league. So as I said, it's, it's great for the young lads to have the likes of him around. You're one of the, probably the most experienced player in the team. Hey, being kind to you there, but um, you know, you've been in this situation before with playoffs and going for promotion and winning promotion and things like that. How are you, how are you, you know, passing on your experience to the younger players going into this? Listen, the likes of tonight, it's like a learning curve for some of the lads, it's the four season, some of the lads, and as I said, you lose the head sometimes when things aren't going your way. So, is it, that's the learning curve that we need to sort out now before we get to the playoffs because when we went to the playoffs, anything happened on the night, as I said, so they just need to relax and obviously. We'll see it through our quality, we'll see it through. We have to get through the first division teams first, you know, and then we could be looking at, we'd probably say Finn Harps at this stage, no offence to them. Um, Finn Harps would be a tough outfit to play against, you know, going up to Bally Buffet, it's a tough spot to play against. before we go there, so we'll deal with the first team that comes, so if it's Cavendish, it's Cavendish, we'll deal with that first and we'll take it from there then. Alright.